Hello and welcome to this Saturday night clash between the Western Bulldogs and the Carlton Blues. We are pumped and ready to go. All dice have been disaffected, and by that I mean I've put them through the dishwasher twice. Yes, as we have a look at the teams, Easton Wood is back in for the Dogs after he dominated his opening match against Lockie Weller. Carlton continue to try and find the right mix. Ed Kerno making his debut. The Blues need a win here. Just seems unfair that we can't even make the eight in dice football. So I'll be an emotional wreck for this one. It's the Dogs versus the Blues for Telstra, Australia's best mobile network. Player access has been amazing as we'll head down to the Carlton camp first. Are you there, Ed? I'm here, Andy. Good to I'm see here. you. Good to see you. Pumped for this. Who's the better family down at Carlton, the Kernos or the Silvanis? <laughs> That's a great call. It's got to be the Kernos, doesn't it? Just because of Charlie. Oh, totally. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, if it comes down to looks, you guys are no chance. But don't worry about that. As we head across to the Western Bulldogs, <laughs> Eastern Wood standing by. The Dogs have had a great ADFL uh, season despite a slip-up from Bond from Pelly. Whose decision was it to uh, take no chance to bring you back in, Easton? Well, look, after Bond uh, obviously had the, the, the lull of the performance there, it was time to go back to the big guns, mate. And I'm chasing the Coleman. Uh, yes. Man, so, you know, looking forward to, looking forward to it. Well, oh, there's the warning siren as we bring both captains together for the toss of the coin. Standing by a Western Bulldogs fanatic in Henry. How are you, Henry? Good, how about you? Oh, very good, mate. That is a terrific uh, room you got there. What's the situation? Is it, is it always up or did you put it up specifically for this game? I only put it up specifically for this game. Oh, but if, if Easton gets the win, will it remain a shrine to this yes. terrific rap? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> the interior design of Henry's house is at stake here, Easton. As you'll cost <laughs> toss the coin, Henry. It's your call, Ed. Off you go, Henry. Ed. high toss. Yeah. Uh, it's tails. It's tails. It always seems to go in the direction of, of the Hello, boy. <laughs> hey, <you> just, uh, <laughs> The stats are, are, are very skewed, mate, for people who... I believe you, Henry. We're not casting any dispersions on you. Eastern Wood, would you like to roll first? We're going to send Andy in. No, I'll, uh, I'll roll first, mate, and put the pressure on, see what Eddie's made of. He's going to attack first as we let them both get ready for this first quarter. Easton Wood has elected to roll first and he's got his hands on the dice early. Take it away, Easton. Here we go. Oh, oh it's a 5G. Five goals, one, some straight kicking from the Western Bulldogs. 31 points. Ed, off you go and return. He's already grimacing. Come on, mate. Here he goes. Great below his knees. One, one. He's <laughs> the snake eyes. <laughs> Oh no, as Blues supporters groan, another slow start for us. Why? Every time as we hit the quarter time break. 5 1 31 at the Western Bulldogs ahead of Carlton 1 1 7. And uh, it's Carlton have got their hands on the dice early. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of football left to be played, Ed. You take it away for this second term. The anticipation. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. <laughs> He's rolled a one one. He's rolled a one one again. I can't believe it. It is the poorest game we have had so far in the ADFL, and it has to be my club. Easton, off you go, buddy. Let's see if you can extend the lead. Oh, my God. Let's see if I can beat that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Six one. <laughs> It's a whitewash. Six goals, one. Oh, my good my Lord. My mathematical chance. <laughs> you are. Well, yeah, you are. You're a mathematical chance. But, boy, is it a tough ask from here as we head into halftime. And I need to get myself quite a stiff drink. <laughs> halftime now. We'll be getting an opportunity to look at the Telstra tracker for Ed Kerno. There at the facilities at Carlton, looks like he's, as we can see now, in the coach's office, and it's cold. Yes, an icy response from David T. Obviously getting a huge dressing down. He'll want to get out of there quick, smart. Looking at the scores again, it's not pretty for anyone who likes the Blues. 11-2, Western Bulldogs, 68, plays 2-2, 14. Ed 
Kuno, what has Tiki said to you at half time? Uh, <laughs> not much. We haven't seen him. <laughs> He's run away. <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Well, come on. It's time to rally. He's not another casualty, is he, Ando? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's too early to sack coaches, I think. <laughs> it's too early. <laughs> but Easton Wood has his hands on the dice. Let's see what he's got in store. He can put it out of Carlton's grasp if it's anything, well, kind of mid-range or higher. Here we go. It's a 5-1, and that's the game. <laughs> oh, no. 5-1, 16-3, tremendously straight kicking from the doggies. They're on 99. Percentage is important, Kerno. <laughs> Come on, Ed. 2-6. It's not too bad. 18 points in improvement, but the doggies extend their lead. 16-3-99 plays Carlton 4 8 32. Quarter number four now. This cannot finish quick enough for me. Uh, it's Ed Kerno's role. Come on. I mean, everyone's left their own homes watching this. Oh, he's got a 5-6. Fantastic. It's a shame that most Carlton supporters had walked out of their own lounge rooms in disgust. <laughs> they, they missed the fast finish. But that's good. It means you aren't the lowest scorer of all time in ADFL. And that was pride. Easton, what have you got in reply? Here we go. Two... Six, but I think they'll put in cotton wool, knowing the finals were coming up. A couple of the important players came off. But it's a huge win. You can hear the doggies theme song ringing around. Easton, you came back in. You knew what you were doing. Obviously, the coach has made the right call. Yeah, look, mate, didn't put a foot wrong there. It's hard to... The only way we could have uh, kept them to a lower score was to make them miss the box altogether. <laughs> um, so, no, really happy. I've just put the cue in the rack at the end there a bit. But, you know, we've got finals coming up, so... We'll put our best foot forward there. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be Mad Monday, of course, for Ed. That's where his mind was for half the game, I think. But uh, and look at the scores again. 18-9, 1-1-7 to Carlton. 9-14-68. For any of the games you may miss today or this whole round, go to afl.com.au forward slash dice. Putting the ladder is there as well. Of course, the doggies making their way into the finals.